So XR headsets in general have a number of sort of optical ergonomics considerations. Uh, the one you've probably heard of most is IPD. That's interpupillary distance, and it's the distance between your eyes. And that affects our depth perception. Uh, so Project North Star is no exception. And uh, while some headsets allow for mechanical IPD adjustment, we're doing that in software. Now, to date, with previous Project North Star headset versions, uh, that relied on using uh, keys, keyboard keys, to make those adjustments for different users. And that was a bit inconvenient, especially if you were um, building a wearable rig. It meant keeping a keyboard handy. So for the Deck X, we've gone and added some buttons on top, a D-pad here, and, uh, and a couple of additional buttons there, a lot like a uh, game controller. And, uh, and we can use those to adjust, um, adjust IPD. And the other considerations in this headset are vertical eye position and also eye relief. So if I'm wearing my glasses, for instance, the headset's going to be slightly further out from my eyes than if I'm not it's going to be closer. And uh, people have different head shapes that need to be accounted for as well. Um, and then, depending on how the headgear fits a given user, the headset might be a little further up like this, or a little further down. And that actually affects how the warping in the headset uh, needs to happen. And then IPD affects um, their depth perception, and hence the overall comfort of the image. So this lets us have the user adjust that for themselves. Um, now I'm going to take the headset off so you can sort of see this uh, working. So you can see here, these are our two virtual camera frustra representing our uh, right and left eyes. And so to adjust IPD, we're going to want to move those apart from each other. These are actually a virtual representation of the displays in the headset. So as I push left and right here on this D-pad, that adjusts the IPD. And then to adjust the position of the frustro um, vertically, right, so where our eyes are in the headset, and you can see the warping in the rendered image up here change. Uh, so that's what, uh, the IPD is a little more subtle uh, in the rendered image, but actually makes a tremendous um, difference in terms of uh, ocular convergence. And then um, these two buttons here, our eye relief. So depending on whether a user is wearing glasses or not, and you can see that that factor affects the warping considerably as well. So giving demos previously, I did a whole lot of, so is this better or worse? Or is this better or worse? Um, and pushing keys on the keyboard. That's no longer necessary. I can tell them the functions of these keys and then and this has always been there, you can pull up these calibration bars. Uh, and there's a little bit of content floating in front of there, but you can see that those provide a guide that the user can use to uh, sort of uh, figure out if uh, their warping is correct. And the idea is to uh, have this ergonomics calibration guide uh, show as straight horizontal lines uh, across the screen, at a um, across the field of view of the user, um, out at a certain distance, and then to have the center line uh, appear to be a single straight vertical line uh, down the center of their field of view. Um, and, uh, and then, you know, uh, you've got the ergonomics factors configured correctly for that user and, uh, everything should appear more or less at the correct depth, uh, to them. And, uh, 
So I think these buttons make things a lot uh, easier, and we can also assign a lot of different functions to those. So we've got a lot of versatility here because it's hooked up to an Arduino. And in fact, we could put multiple possible key sets or functions into that Arduino sketch and then have our Unity application send, for instance, a single byte to the Arduino over a serial port um, and uh, have that entire key set uh, change in terms of the HID keys. Or we could have it send bytes directly from the Arduino into uh, our Unity app or any other app that we want. Um, there are a lot of uh, possibilities for this. And uh, in fact, these buttons are just a peripheral hooked up to that Arduino, and we could add you know, sensors to our heart's content. So this hub and uh, button system uh, really add a lot of versatility and expandability to the headset. So I'm really excited about this.